practice starting off well. Uh, Amy Brenneman from ABC's Private Practice is my co-host. Nice to have you. It's uh, it's very I'm I'm very thrilled you're here. Thank you. Yeah. I'm glad to be here. Yeah, it's nice to nice to to be sharing the uh, this Monday with you. Um, we're both a little sleepy because uh, <laughs> I don't know. Last really night. Late. Well, no, no, don't no. talk about last night. No, no, we I mean that was a whole. <laughs> no, no, we weren't. You're gonna you're gonna ruin my rep. Um, <laughs> Last night was a huge TV night, and I, I don't know if you had the same problem. There was like a million different things to watch. Yeah. I got stuck watching The Real Housewives of New Jersey reunion. I don't know about anybody else. Yeah, not, not, uh, not very pleasant. Um, it wasn't very pleasant, though. It is so stressful, and I got so stressed, and because I haven't watched... I gave up this show a while ago. I mean, I've been watching it on and off. I tried to quit it. They're man, just so, but, you so know. dreadful and at each other's throats. I just feel like there's enough drama in real life. Like, I don't need to add to it by yeah. watching the show. But I watched the reunion and I got so stressed, I had to take an Ambien to fall asleep. <laughs> it's true. It's really true. What exactly stressed you out? Oh, my God. I mean, first of all, it's one of three parts. So the very idea that there's going to be two more parts I find exhausting. <laughs> Existentially. From the <laughs> moment they sit down, they are just yelling at each other. And, and no one listens to each other. They're, they're not having a conversation. And no one ever admits, you know what, they did something wrong. I mean, Carolyn Manzo it admitted like she family. did something wrong. No, really? No, no. <laughs> no but it was, it's exhausting. And um, nobody... And no one is listening, so like Teresa's yelling, you know, insulting Carolyn's rolls of fat, and Carolyn yells back the, you know, the C word or something, and then, and then Teresa never, there's never a moment where it's like, you know what, what you said hurt me, and, <laughs> and I'm feeling hurt, you know, as normal people would do. It's just like, you hurt me, I am going to curse your children, and yeah. then, then someone else, the, then... What's her name? Jacqueline is swearing on, on her autistic child. I mean, just like oh my God. craziness. That's terrible. And it was only part two, one. I mean, I, I honestly... <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but let's say they were, like, super enlightened therapized. It would be the dullest show in the but, world, right? I mean, they... like, you hurt my feelings. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, there, there is... I've never <laughs> met a group of people more in need of therapy, though. I mean, they are so in need of just... They... But don't you think... Here's the thing. They need a Yanla. A Yanla needs to go in <laughs> and fix their life. I love, I love a Yanla. But don't you think they have, like, I always think these things, if not scripted, are suggested. Like, don't you think there's some, somebody I, going, like, talk about her fat. It's well, I do boring. Think, I don't think they do it in that. I don't think they're whispering in the area. But I think they all know now, in order to, like, make a name for themselves, right. they have to up the ante. Yes. And it just, you know, it, it uh, back when I first started watching these shows years ago, back in, back in the old <laughs> days, um, you know, there was some, like, it just didn't seem as mean. Now it's just... It's just me and Michelle on Facebook says, all I can say is Teresa's a real piece of work. You could say a lot more than that, actually. <laughs> uh, Frank says, I'm ashamed to admit it, but I did. It was like an elementary school yard fight. Jeanette says, I have a headache. I thought that Teresa is a year later still full of herself. Just no one seems but to take responsibility. But the worst it gets, does it make you, did you turn it off? No, you watched the whole thing. And well, then you took an Ambien. Well, yes. <laughs> I, I thought about turning it off multiple times. <laughs> I really did. I, I kept reaching for the but remote, you didn't and have then the I was like, character. "No!" Because then they had these promos, like right before they go to commercial, where you hear backstage someone screaming, "Like, I'll cut out her tongue! I'll cut out her tongue!" And you're kind of like, "Who's that guy saying he'll cut out her tongue?" <laughs> Turns out it's the one woman, woman's sister. It's not a guy at all. So then I was like, "Well, I gotta wait and see the sister." You know, as as like I have to say that Shakespeare employed a lot of these same yes, things. Yes. Like it's like Macbeth is getting a little boring. You know, oh, another murder. <laughs> right, you know? Yes. Or that guy. Or how about a witch? It up. Like that'll be great. Uh, so yeah, we we have a, a huge show tonight. Uh, the, this afternoon, right now, uh, Meg Ryan is on the show. America. See, I've taken the end. <laughs> Meg Ryan, America Flora, Olivia Wilde, Gabrielle Union. Really great show. Uh, also, a Real Housewives of New York, uh, Ramona Singer is here because uh, that, that show, the finale, just occurred. And also, we're, we're doing something on today's show, which I don't, if you were watching last week, we did this undercover investigation on how women end up paying more for basically everything. There are a ton of products. If, like, a razor is pink, it usually costs more than, like, the guy's razor, even though it's basically the same razor. A lot of hair care products, the same thing, shampoos. We sent a man and a woman to a dry cleaner with the same shirt. The woman got charged more to clean a white shirt than the guy got charged. To fix an inch hem, guy got charged less than the woman. And this, it just blew my mind, and it's so outrageous, the gender difference in pricing. 
And I mean, some re some things there's there's a reason for it, but a lot of stuff I don't see any reason for it. A lot of people are very upset about this. So today we're going to continue our investigation, and we got some folks here um, to uh, with 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 things they've noticed at their own. In fact, one woman in our audience, Cynthia from New York. Where's Cynthia? <laughs> Cynthia. Okay, <laughs> Cynthia sent us a picture. Um, let me let me run over here, Cynthia. <laughs> Because what you you sent us a picture of something you noticed in a store. What were what was the item in a store that you noticed? Uh, that uh, when you go to the contraception section, that the items that are there for her pleasure cost more. That the, you sent us a photo of two condoms side by side. <laughs> one one is mar the one on the right is marketed for women. The one on the, the left is marketed for guys. Basically the same. Same condom and different prices. Different prices, because you know the marketing geniuses have convinced us that our pleasure is worth the twenty cents more. And I think they, <laughs> right, yes. And and you've noticed this before with razors as well. Yeah, well, the razors I understand. Black razors cost less because they produce so much more of those, and the pink ones are shorter run in a way. So I get that. But, but well, that doesn't make any sense. Because <laughs> a razor is pink, that it somehow no, charged. It's actually a different thing. You know, it's not like we're we're talking about we're paying more for the exact same thing. Like tonight, when you and I go to Movies, right. you're not going to pay less than my ticket when right. we go Dutch, and, and that, that's the way it should be. But but on the on the uh, the contraception thing, you notice that. I think that's ridiculous. Yeah, well, I appreciate you sending <laughs> in the picture. We got a lot of that, um, so we're going to talk about that. But I, I mean, this is an ongoing thing we're going to do because I just think it's incredibly annoying. Oh. Harvey Levin from TMZ, executive producer of TMZ, is joining us by satellite with some of the day's other uh, sort of celebrity-related stories. Harvey, thanks for being here. I'm glad you're uh, glad you're with us. Hi, Anderson. So, Harvey, there's two things I want to talk to you about. Uh, 60 Minutes last night, Arnold Schwarzenegger was on talking about his new memoir. Blew my mind, this guy, some of the things he was saying. And also, Lindsay Lohan, yet again in the news, she's made the cover of the New York Post and the Daily News uh, alleging all sorts of things. Some guy allegedly attacked her because of cell phone pictures. So, so what, first of all, what's going on with Lindsay Lohan? Well, the good news about it is that uh, since she left, the crime rate in L.A. has dropped 3%. Uh, so, I mean, it, Anderson, it is, it is unbelievable that she, what, she's been in New York for a month. Now, two incidents where the cops were called. This time, she's in a hotel, uh, and... You know, the interesting thing is she's, she sees this guy, a um, complete stranger, then uh, somehow he ends up in her room with some friends, takes pictures, she finds out, she confronts him, grabs his camera, then she says he, she throw, he throws her on the bed and starts pushing her around, and then she calls the cops. The cops investigate, they actually arrested the guy, and then de decided, you know... Lindsay actually committed a crime by grabbing his cell phone, number one, right. and number two, she refused, in, she refused to go to the hospital. So they just said, look, we're not dealing with this anymore. And it's almost like there's a Lindsay clause with the cops that <laughs> they just don't want that. to be bothered anymore. I've lived in New York my entire you know? life. I've never had any interaction with New York City Police <laughs> Department. You know what? <laughs> it's I have great respect for them. I know. How long has she been here? And she's already had two encounters with the cops. This is unbelievable. It's he unbelievable. just has more star value than you. I guess. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Um, no good things happen in hotel rooms at 6 a.m. though on yeah. a Sunday morning with, with, Lindsay a, Lohan. with the Lindsay Lohan a group of people. The other uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger um, was on 60 Minutes last night, and I mean, just the the ego on this guy I just found extraordinary. I really feel for his family, for his kids. Catherine Schwarzenegger was on our show last week. I feel you know bad for her. What surprised you? Uh, let, let's show a little bit of of, of, the, of him from last night. She then said, hey, I think that um, uh, Joseph is your kid. And uh, am I off here on this or, or not? And I said, you're absolutely correct. And that I knew about it at that point uh, maybe for five, six years or so. So that's him talking about Maria Schreier. So he knew for five or six years that his housekeeper's child was actually his child. He never talked to the housekeeper allegedly about it, never said anything to Maria about it until Maria approached him five or six years down the road. Harvey, were you surprised by what he said? Well, I was surprised at a couple of things. Number one, um, he, he, he didn't even put up a fight, Anderson. I mean, he was, he was horrible on the show. And 
Arnold is so savvy and media savvy that you would think he would have had a story going in, especially having just written a book that could explain away something, justify something, I don't know, mitigate something, but there was none of that. And he just got worse and worse. The other thing about it is when he says, I didn't realize until five or six months or six years after Joseph was born that it was my kid. Well, he had unprotected sex with her. <laughs> and you would think that when she's pregnant and has a baby about nine months later, right. it would register, hey, maybe I have a problem here. <laughs> and, and she continued to work in the house, and he claimed that though it was uncomfortable, he thought she, he could like control her more, uh, which clearly he seemed to have been worried about her, you know, leaving and selling her story or something, and I, although he denies that he was paying her any kind of hush money. Well, I'll tell you one other thing that um, is, is even more shocking, I think. Uh, he did not show the book to Maria. Well, that's um, as far yes. as I know. Yeah, unbelievable. As, as, as far as I know, as of today, but I can tell you what I believe to be the reason why. I know that in the middle of all of this, Arnold is not giving her a penny for this book. Um, you know, they were married for 34, uh, well, they were together for 34 years, and a lot of this book is about their relationship, but his position is, hey, it's my book, it's my money. I mean, he's really handling this like a business deal. Wow. And what I'm hearing is he almost didn't want to show it to her because he didn't want her to make a claim, I read it, I gave him advice on it, I wow. objected to this or that, and th therefore she could lay claim to the book. He's not giving her a cent and didn't even give her a heads I mean, up on if, what's in uh, that thing. Uh, Harvey, appreciate you joining us from TMZ. Thank you very much. Imagine what it's like for her kids. I mean, I, a I asked Catherine Schwarzenegger on the show last week if, you know, if she gets nervous about, you know, this book coming out, and, and, you know, clearly she was very uncomfortable about it. But to not let your kids read the book in advance or your ex-wife read the book in advance, I just find unbelievable. It's, it is unbelievable, although it's part of the same personality disorder, I would say, which is just this incredible <laughs> uh, narcissism. Right. You know, well, this incredible... Yes ability to be so self-wrapped right. that incredible things are going on in your household and yet you think you're oblivious. You don't reach the opponent. level of stardom and money that this guy has without being incredibly narcissistic and, and focused. I don't, I Except for you. Well, I'm, I not, mean... I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not anywhere near that. Are you kidding? Uh, listen, we got to take a quick break. Uh, we're going to have more of the first 15 when we come back. Also, the Real Housewives of New York finale that premieres tonight. Uh, Ramona Singer is here for that. We'll be right back.